The trajectory of advances is often tangential and circular. In 2006, sirtuin research and compounds like resveratrol became hot. Then the research was questioned. More recently, David Sinclair published the results of new research on NAD. Other labs have been looking into NAD, including MIT's Dr. Lena Garante. And what was out of favor has yeah. become important again. So I, I think the paper that came out in Cell uh, was especially interesting because of, of the detail that it went into. I think it follows on the heels of papers from uh, other labs, MI in particular, Allworts in particular, that showed that supplementation to restore NAD could uh, reverse some of the bad effects of aging, for example, effects on metabolic decline. We sort of knew that that was, that was in the cards. Uh, what the December 19th paper did is it looked in detail at what's going awry with aging and found uh, a defect in one set of mitochondrial genes that happens with aging. So it really sort of put a, uh, a more molecular signature on the effect of aging, the effect of NAD decline, and the effect of reversing that decline by supplementing back the NAD. I think that nobody really uh, uh, considered the possibility that NAD goes down with aging. It just, people just didn't think of it. And it was only by accident that uh, Shin Imai stumbled into this, uh, studying a mouse that he had engineered to express a high level of SIRT1, okay? And because this mouse had this high level of SIRT1, it had a, an additional metabolic uh, uh, benefit compared to normal mice that he could measure, okay? And what he found is when these mice got old, they lost that benefit. So they, they no longer uh, differed from the normal mice. And that made him wonder what was going on. Why was he losing this activity? And uh, he looked at the, the protein, the SIRT1 protein, and there was still tons of it in the old mice. It just was not active. So that's a clue right there that there's something uh, happening that's affecting the activity of the SIRT2. And if you can't have activity because of an insufficiency of NAD, then compounds like resveratrol, supplements that would activate the sirt are no good. They're not going to work. And as I said, the study that Shin Imai did really revealed that it was very likely uh, the NAD that was the problem uh, when we get old, and furthermore, that you could supplement back the NAD by adding compounds that can be converted into NAD. When was his discovery? I think it was 2009. So long. It's a long time ago, and it was ignored. It was published in an a, a obscure journal, and it was a curiosity. In the past uh, year, you know, we've published uh, papers showing uh, that NAD goes down. It goes down in uh, the brains uh, of uh, mice with age. It goes down in uh, muscle with age. It goes down in liver. Um, and uh, so I think it's a, it's a pervasive phenomenon. And we didn't realize that until very recently. Have you guessed why it goes down? There are a lot of ideas uh, why it goes down, and it, it gets uh, rather technical rather quickly. But the basic ideas are either less NAD is made when we get old, so the synthesis is somehow diminished, or it's actually degraded more when we get old. Either way, you're going to end up with less of it, and both may be true. Why can you make it increase, and with, and with what? Yeah, it's just a, a fortuitous thing that uh, NAD gets uh, built up uh, from smaller molecules and if you add the intermediates that are immediately before NAD that get built up into NAD and you flood cells or mice uh, with these intermediates, you can have those cells or animals make more NAD and you can measure the increase in NAD. And so if you did this uh, in a young animal, you know, you might not see much of an effect because the NAD levels are already quite high. But if you do it in an old animal, you can see a boost if you measure it. And you can see that the animals uh, uh, are affected by having the higher levels of NAD. They're affected favorably. Their health improves. You, you might ask, well, why don't you use NAD itself? And NAD itself is not permeable into cells. 
So NAD doesn't work, but the precursors that are smaller and do get into cells do work. Does it look like NAD affects any other major pathway? Yeah, we, well, NAD's been around for 100 years, which is 90 years longer than sirtuins have been. So there are many enzymes in cells involved in metabolism that use NAD, and they could be affected if NAD goes down in aging, and they could be brought back to life when NAD is restored to cells. This story is still emerging, okay? So I can tell you what I think might be going on, and we'll have to see if that's how it turns out. So what I think happens is one of the major effects of sirtuins in cells is to keep mitochondria healthy and to boost the number of mitochondria so that metabolism in the cells goes through mitochondria, okay? And if NAD is going down with aging and the activity of the sirtuins is going down, then that's consistent with the fact that the activity of mitochondria goes down with aging. Now, I don't think we've proved at this point that this link between sirtuins and mitochondria is as direct as I'm making it out to be, okay? But it could be. So that if you could prevent NAD from going down or reverse it, and you could restore the activity of sirtuins, I think you would have a, a fighting chance of restoring robust mitochondria. And that's gonna have a favorable impact on health.